All right, so in this problem regarding sectional charts on the part 107 test, we're going to be talking about elevations and heights of obstacles and airports. Starting off with this first practice problem, we have what is the height of the lighted obstacle approximately six nautical miles southwest of Savannah International, which is abbreviated as SAV. Um, and then we have these three options, which as I always say, I recommend not to look at these so they don't sway you one way or the other. Make sure you just come up with an answer and then check if any of the answer choices match with that. So I have the figure that has the Savannah Airport. You can see it's here in this blue. That's our airport. And we're asked to do a couple of things inside this problem. First of all, we need to know how to find something that's six nautical miles away from an airport. Then we also need to know what the elevation of that obstacle would be. So I think the first thing to point out in, within this problem that can really help you out is the fact that it points out that it's a lighted obstacle, okay? So a lighted obstacle, if we go to, if we look within our legend, the legend shows us that we have these obstructions and it labels different ones. The one that we wanna look in particular is this one where it says, obstruction with high intensity lights may operate at part time. So you can see they're slightly different than these other obstructions because they have these bolts of light coming from them. So. If we just ignore the six nautical miles description and we just take a look at which obstructions around the Savannah airport have lights on them, we could say, okay, well, this one does, that one does. Let's see, are there any other ones? Not, none that I'm seeing. So it's probably going to be one of these two that we're looking at. So this is just a way to sort of gut check that we're looking at the right obstruction. And then it tells us that it's six nautical miles southwest. So let's jot that down six nautical miles southwest. If you remember what a compass looks like, we've got north, east, southwest. So southwest of the airport is going to be somewhere in this direction. So if we look southwest, we're probably going to be looking at this obstruction on the left that I've highlighted. However, if you want to be super sure of this, normally at the bottom or the top of these figures, there's this ruler, this scale that shows you how far away things are with nautical miles, statute miles, and kilometers. So since this obstruction should be six nautical miles, let's count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the line would look like this. And then if we went ahead and grabbed it, copied it, pasted it, and then we went ahead and moved it, and rotated it, we'd say, yeah, I mean, that's about six nautical miles southwest of the airport. So we sort of gut checked it and we also just checked it with the ruler, the scale. I'm doing this in sort of an interesting way because I'm doing it on an iPad, but uh, when you're doing the test, you'll have this scale and legend in front of you. So you can kind of just compare it with your fingers. They'll also give you a ruler that you can use um, that is transparent. So any any way of this you can use to measure how far an obstruction is away from you. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that. We know we're looking at this obstruction here. Now we need to figure out what its elevation is. Let's zoom in a little bit. So there's a lot of numbers around this, so make sure that you're actually getting the right values. So right off the bat, I'm seeing, okay, so it could either be this number or it could be this, these two numbers. Uh, it's probably not gonna be this 397 since that's for this like lower obstruction. So cross that out. What you'll notice is to the left of the lighted obstruction, we've got this pair of three. So this probably goes with this, this probably goes with this, this goes with that. So all of those elevations are accounted for. So what we're gonna be want, we're gonna want to look at is this 1548 and then in parentheses 1534. So if there's one thing you need to remember about these sectional charts, it's that any number that is in parentheses is in AGL. So this lower number here is an AGL. And if you don't remember what that means, that means above ground level. And then this number up above is an MSL, which is mean sea level. So you notice throughout uh, this sectional chart, there's a lot of these values that are stacked on top of each other. And you'll notice that for all of these, the MSL is either greater than or equal to the AGL number. And that should make sense because when you're measuring from the mean sea level, that is going to be greater than if you're just measuring from where the ground is, because sometimes elevation can be 
different if you're maybe on a mountain or a rock formation of some sort. So we've got these two numbers. We've got 1548 MSL and 1534 AGL. So those are two potential answers we could have for this problem. So let's go ahead and see if any of the answers match up with that. So it looks like answer number A matches 1548 feet MSL. That matches with this first number that we have. Let's go ahead and see why the rest of the answers are incorrect. So we have 1498 feet MSL. This will not work. The reason why is because the elevation is incorrect. And then for C, we've got 1533 feet AGL. So this is really, really close to being the right answer. But once again, our elevation is incorrect. If this was 1534 feet AGL, then it would be correct because that would match our lower number, but since it's 1533 feet AGL, it also does not work. All right, so now we have this second practice problem. If you want, you can go ahead and pause the video and sort of try to figure it out yourself, and then you can continue the video and I'll dive into how to solve it. So here we're looking at another figure. We're being asked what the elevation of Chesapeake Regional Airport, abbreviated as CPK, is. We've got those three answers that we're going to ignore, and we're going to take a look at our figure. So Chesapeake Regional Airport, let me outline it here, okay? You may not believe me, but the answer is within this section. Isn't that incredible? So for a lot of these sectional chart problems, the answer is there, it's written out for you. You just need to be able to parse this information and you can just pick it out, okay? So Chesapeake Regional Airport, we've got all this information, we've got the name, we've got the abbreviation of it, and then there's some other stuff. Um, within the legend of the sectional chart, there's this section for airport data. And we can sort of just do some pattern matching to figure out where the elevation is being reported here. The first line of our airport data is for the name of the airport and then sort of the abbreviation. So that would be the Chesapeake Regional CPK. The second line is for the control tower, any sort of weather information. Take a second and think to yourself, does this airport have a control tower? If it does, why? If it doesn't, why not? If you said that this airport does not have a control tower, you would be absolutely correct. The reason why is because it is shown in magenta. Airports shown in magenta do not have control towers. So all this information we have here about the control towers, uh, we won't actually have anything like that for this airport. Instead, we have AWS, which is like for weather, um, and it tells us which frequency we should be tuning in, which is that uh, 123.675. Then if we look at the next line in our airport data, and we scroll down a little bit, we'll see that this 285 corresponds to an elevation in feet. So ding, 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 this might be what we're looking for within our airport data. So let's see, that should be on this line and that should be that first number. So that would be 19, 19 feet. Unlike with some other sectional chart problems, you don't need to add two zeros here. It's a little bit inconsistent. It's kind of annoying. We would say that the elevation of this airport in feet would be 19 feet. So let's see if that matches with any of our answers. We've got 360 feet MSL. Nope. We've got 19 feet MSL. Yep. Correct answer here is B. And the other two answers don't make sense because that is not the elevation. We have found it by pattern matching the airport data descriptor of this airport. So hopefully that helps when figuring out the elevation and altitudes of obstacles and airports on sectional charts. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll respond as quickly as I can. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.